Hey y'all, that is a manual transmission and that is a go-kart engine and this behind me is soon to be the Key Farm Monster Truck and today we're answering a question. The number one question in the comments across the whole channel is this. How do you attach the two? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm about to show you in just the next couple minutes. And then after this video, the next biggest question is, how do you shift that thing? Well, I'm going to make that video as well. Hey, I'm Chris from Key Farm. Hoping this helps you with your projects. Keep watching. All right, y'all. So check it out. What we want to do is this is your clutch plate. This inner eye has splines in it. You got to get these out and make them usable. You don't need all of this anymore. So most of the time they got these rivets. I've ground two of them off. I'm going to get the third one off. And we're going to get the eye out of the clutch. Alright, so I ground those rivets loose. And then this thing just comes apart. All kind of stuff's going to fall out of it. There's your main eye of the clutch. Now I'm going to cut it here, 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 and here, and here. And all we're going to keep is the eye and this metal part around it. Alright y'all, once you get the eye of the clutch out, you would grind this down to kind of a circle and kind of get it, you know, balanced weight-wise. And then, you'll have you a coupler. These steel couplers on eBay are about 20, uh, about 22, 25 uh, This is a three-quarter. For all my input shafts that I build, I use one inch, but I don't have any one inch stuff on hand. So, it's identical except for the bore size. So, check that out. Um, so, the splines is how you go from the transmission shaft to all your new stuff. Your new stuff is real easy because you order it all and it all matches. Uh, I use one inch because there's so much stuff available and it's the cheapest and easiest to find. So a one inch coupler, a one inch shaft, one inch bearings, and then one inch hub sprockets. But the trick is attaching this to this. So this is the actual piece that I had a machine shop make for the MG. And what I did is I took a one inch coupler and a one inch shaft and of course they'd slide together pretty easy and I, the machine shaft turned this down to where it would slide in there now it won't this is out of an Isuzu but in theory this slid in there and on the MG it did and it fit tight now it didn't spline up because they didn't cut any splines in it and having this piece made would cost little enough this guy didn't charge me a thing so anyway that would slide on there, that would slide down in there, the two would mesh together like that with this in there, and they would be tight. You put them in a the vise, you tack it all the way around, and then fully weld it all the way around. And the one on the MG doesn't have any wobble in it at all. Now, if you don't have access to a machine shop, here's your other option. You see how this rim and this are close? As a matter of fact, on the wrecker, they were about that close, the wrecker behind me. We're going to look at it in just a second. So what I did is I trued it up as best I could, and I kind of measured this gap I had, and I put it in the vise, and I tack welded it, and I spun it, and it looked good. I put it on the truck. I've been driving it around. It doesn't have any wobble, but now it, it's an 8 to 1 ratio, so it doesn't spin very fast either. But this is the piece that you're trying to get. And that is how you get from the transmission splines to your new shaft, whatever the size it may be. Now, let's go look at it in real life. By the way, this is going to be the F350 Key Farm Monster Truck. I've been trying to get the tires welded up and true. It's going to be awesome. Been doing a little bit of paint. All right, so we're going to come over here, and we're going to get down kind of low, and you see right there are the splines coming out of the transmission. There is the eye of the clutch welded to the coupler, and you see the one-inch shaft going into the coupler, and as it comes out of that, it goes through the first bearing, Of course, there's the sprocket, and there's the second bearing. And then, you see I got this stuff in here. 
for a place to mount the motor and it all goes in there just like that. It's actually pretty simple at the end of the day so I hope this video helps y'all out with your project. Um, definitely if you got a manual transmission vehicle laying around give this a shot and make it useful again. Just about all the junk that I've had laying around that was a manual transmission I got it running and driving. So um, hey check back in on the monster truck project please leave me a comment down below and hit that like button. I'm Chris from Key Farm. Love God, love people, and watch some of these other fantastic videos that are about to pop up. Bye.